Hello everyone, this is Scott Spinola from 21CT and today we're going to be talking about fishing. And I don't mean going out on a boat and catching you dinner. What we're talking about today is fishing spelt with PH. What this is, is something that bad guys do where they send out an email, the bait, in the hopes of catching you into clicking a link in the email that will install a virus on your computer or take you to a fake website that will capture your username and password for whatever site they're pretending to be. So they can take over your account and grab your personal information. I'm going to show you some techniques you can use, very simple, to identify if an email is fake. Now it's important to keep in mind that sometimes these bad guys are very clever and they create very good emails and they fake a lot of this stuff. So just because you don't see any of these things I'm going to show you, it doesn't mean that the email is true. Okay, but these are some things you can look for to know that it is fake, if it is. Okay, first thing, so bottom line is what I recommend to everybody is don't click any links in emails unless it's an email you're expecting and expecting a link in it. If you do that, if you don't click on links in email, you can almost guarantee you won't get a virus on your computer because that's how they mostly infect computers. So in this email, I, this is an actual email I received in my email account that says it's from Facebook and says that I have messages. Now for me, I know immediately that's fake because I don't have a Facebook account. But if you're like many people, you have a Facebook account, so it might, you might think it's legitimate. So here are some things you can look for. First and most obvious is the subject line. It has this thing, Facebook falsehood at the end. So that makes the subject line not make any sense. And it's highly unlikely Facebook would send out an email like that. So that's a, that's a red flag right there. Next thing we'll look at is the email address. It says it's from Facebook accounts. Now there's no space between Facebook accounts, which is a little weird, but it, does, it, it could be legit. So what we'll do is find the email address behind it. And in this case, it says it's coming from someone named Darlene and at a website that is, looks a little weird. So that's another serious red flag that says that this is a fake. The final thing you want to look for is the links in the email. Now they may say, you may see one thing in the link, like if they spell out the web address, there could be an entirely different destination on the back of it. That When you click it, it takes you to something entirely different. Like I said, they're very clever. But in this case, we don't see that. We just see a couple buttons and a link. Now what you can do is, without clicking on it, point to the link, and it will usually show you, your email application will usually show you the actual address. In this, this case, it's a bunch of numbers, which is called an IP address. And you can almost guarantee that Facebook is not going to send out something like this. And each of these goes to the exact same page. That seems kind of illogical since they probably should go to something different. So that's another red flag. So for me, I have four red flags because I don't have a Facebook account. For you, if you have a Facebook account, you have three red flags that show that this is a fake email address. And again, just because these things are not there doesn't mean it's a true email. It's always safer to not click a link in an email. If you receive an email like this, open up your Facebook app or open up your browser and log into Facebook and check directly. Hey, well, thank you for watching today and be safe.